Out of all the Shovel Knight campaigns, one of them has always been the odd one out. The one Shovel Knight game you can't purchase standalone. You have to get Treasure Trove to play this campaign. Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows was the first additional campaign added to Shovel Knight and is, in my opinion, the weakest campaign out of all of them. Unlike the two campaigns that come after it, Plague of Shadows has no new levels and no new bosses. It's basically just Shovel of Hope where the only difference is the story and the character you play as. I don't know if it's already apparent, but I'm personally not the biggest fan of Plague of Shadows. I love Plague Knight as a character and it's fun seeing his relationship with Mona develop through the campaign, but his gameplay is just a bit tedious to me. The most unique part of this campaign is all the unique bombs you can make and how fluid the bomb crafting is, but at the same time, this is where I think the game can get really boring. Night. The first few levels I played through, I actively tried to craft different bombs to use, but once I unlocked the cluster powder, I stopped making different bombs completely since there's really no incentive to do so. Instead of coming to an enemy that's in a weird place and thinking, hmm, how can I make a bomb that will blow up this guy in the most efficient way, I just ended up using the bomb blast and using the cluster bomb at him. My standard setup ended up being the normal casing, cluster charge, and normal fuse. And don't get me wrong, you can probably make some really cool bombs if you actually try. For example, there's stuff that makes your bombs act like sentries, stuff that makes them orbit around you, but why would you go through the trouble of using those when you can just walk up to a guy's face and blast him with a nuke? The sub-weapons, or arcana, are once again all unique to your character and it's cool how you trade in the relics Shovel Knight uses in for them. I haven't used the Arcana that much either during my playthrough because the only one you really need is the big ass potion so you don't fall into a bottomless pit on accident. Even the outfits don't bring a lot of new things to the table unlike the other campaigns. One of them just makes you bounce around like a big bouncy ball everywhere. Even the outfit that makes you just sparkle doesn't look as good so I just opted for the default robes. Unlike Shovel Knight, Plague Knight has a really teensy weensy tiny jump, but he makes up for it with his bomb blast and double jump. The problem is, the areas are never open enough for you to utilize the bomb blast to its full potential. You can maybe use it to skip a few rooms, but then you need to stop dead in your tracks so you don't fall into a pit on accident like an idiot. Since this was the first new Night DLC, and it was free, there really isn't a lot of new stuff. Even the bosses are all the same except the final boss and the Shovel Knight fight that replaced the Plague Knight fight from the original campaign. But then Yacht Club Games knocked it out of the park with the next DLC, which was technically a full new game, but that's for another video. The story is kinda bare bones compared to the others, and don't get me wrong, the other campaign stories aren't masterpieces by any means, but Plague Knight's story doesn't even really make that much sense, I guess? Apparently Plague Knight is going around collecting the essences of all the knights to make some sort of super potion to make his crush like him. And while that is cute, I have no idea what the essences are and I don't think it's ever actually even explained. However, I do really like how you can see Shovel Knight walking around and going through his own campaign. You even get to clash with him on a couple of occasions. You beat him but he ends up backstabbing you while you're celebrating, which is something Shovel Knight would never do. And so we can see Plague Knight is an unreliable narrator or some bullshit, but that's nerd stuff and you probably don't care about it. However, if you do care, go watch this video on the topic because it's pretty good at explaining if the campaign is canon or not. So would I call Plague of Shadows my favorite Shovel Knight campaign? Eh, no, not by a long shot. I wouldn't say it's last place, but it probably shares third place with King of Cards. Plague Knight's gameplay just feels like a chore to me sometimes. However, that does not mean that it's bad by any means. It's still a fun game, and I'll gladly replay it at any time, but it's just not as enjoyable as, say, Spectre of Torment, the best Shovel Knight campaign. <coughs> this video was supposed to come out like a week ago, but I got sick, so every like is one even sucker ducklicks, and every subscribe is every video, or, or something, I, I don't know. Okay, bye.